Sometimes people think of the church as simply one human institution among others, and they fall into the temptation of thinking that human ingenuity and personnel management and public relations will solve the church's problems. Today's saint, a bishop and doctor of the church named Hillary, had a very different view, and so should we. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and though Saint Hilary lived a long time ago in the 4th century, something he wrote then is just as important today. The following is a reflection on Psalm 126. Unless the Lord builds a house, the builders labor in vain. Then Hilary quotes Saint Paul who wrote, You are the temple of God. The Spirit of God dwells in you. Each of us is a temple of God, and together we constitute God's house, of which Hillary wrote the following. Such a temple must be built by God. If it were constructed by human effort, it would not last. It is not held together by resting on merely worldly teachings, nor will it be protected by our own vain efforts or anxious concern. We must build it and protect it in a different way. It must not have its foundation on earth. Its foundations must be rooted in the prophets and apostles. It must be built up from living stones held together by a cornerstone. An ever-increasing unity will make it grow into a perfect humanity, to the scale of Christ's body. Its beauty and its charm are the adornment given to it by supernatural grace. A house so built by God, that is, by God's guidance, will not collapse. Through the efforts of the individual faithful, this house will grow into many houses, and thus will arise the blessed and spacious city of God.